Hello, my name is George Harrison and it's nice to be here on Veronica. This evening we're going to be talking about my music and I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. Now that the financial and legal problems with Alan Klein have been solved, there seems to be little in the way to uh, reunite the Beatles. Is that true? Well, I mean, there's little in the business side left in the way, but there's a lot of other things. Just physically, we're all in different places now, and we don't spend time together anymore. You know, it's, that's the problem. We'd have to uh, get to know each other again, because we haven't sort of hung around together like we did in the past. So, I mean, it's everybody's into their own lives. It seems very difficult, the idea of getting together. But it's just a joke. I mean, it needs a joke when the last offer was for $50 million, dollars, and it's crazy, you know. It's trying to put the responsibility of making the world a wonderful place again onto the Beatles. <laughs> you know, I think that's unfair. I know a lot of people like the Beatles, but it's like eight years ago we split up, and it's like difficult, you know. It's like um, we all grew up and we left home. It's like trying to get the family back again or trying to get us to go back to school again. I suppose the first um, feeling I really had that was strong, spiritual feeling, was after taking LSD. Somebody, um, John Lennon and I were having dinner with somebody who was a dentist, and he dropped LSD in our coffee, and we took it, and ever since then, it's all changed. And I don't know, I just, on that, you know, what happens is it sort of makes a lot of blood go up into the brain and you start using more of the brain through the chemical. You use more brain than you normally have used and somehow the senses get uh, heightened for a moment. And I don't know, I just took one look at the trees and the grass and the sky and I thought, yeah, that's it. You have also uh, done a lot for uh, the Third World, looking at your Bangladesh uh, concert. Well, really, that happened because of my friendship with Ravi Shankar. He, um, I think that was 1971, he told me that this situation was happening in Bangladesh and that he was going to do a concert to try and raise some money. But the concerts that he does, he can't really make that amount of money. And he was saying, maybe you've got some ideas. Maybe you could help give me some ideas how I could do a show to make maybe $25,000 something which is much more than he could normally make in one concert. And then he gave me a lot of uh, information about the war, and I read a lot about it, and once I got to understand what was happening, because what happened, there was, uh, there was more people killed, murdered in Bangladesh than in the Second World War, and not many people knew about it. So I just, the more I read about it, the more I became involved with it. So I said, okay, I'll come on the show as well. And then I started to organize it. Because I thought, if we're going to do it, let's do it big. And let's not make $25,000, let's make $5 million. What do you, how do you feel about uh, 33 and a third? Yeah, I liked it. I mean, for me, it's like the songs, you know, it's usually different songs mean different things to me. But I think generally the album's nice because it's, it's happy. Like, we go through so many crazy things in our lives, and I've been up and down and up and down, and the, the music always reflects it, you know? Like, some albums, I think my last album was more down. And this one is just happy and up. That's what I like about it. Music uh, is your life, and you are very famous, yet your self-consciousness seems to be very strong. Um, how could you maintain that, even through the stormy and... and, and and rich years of the Beatles? Well, I, it was, uh, I was fortunate. 
in that respect, the, the Beatles were fortunate that there was four people because I think for somebody like Elton, you know, who's on his own, it's more difficult. You go crazy. With the four of us, we either went crazy together, you know, which made it easier, or, or we stopped ourselves going crazy because we had each other's company. But um, at the height of it all was um, the thing where I got involved with India anyway. And for me, it was the meditation. Meditation was the key to uh, releasing all the uh, anxieties and frustrations. You know, when the nervous system gets wound up, then meditation is a way of helping to restore some sort of order. That it's like a mirror has become dirty. And so through meditation and yoga, it's the process of trying to polish the mirror so that we can reveal what we really are, which is Satchitananda. Um, perfection, and that's it. Each one is potentially divine, and the goal is just to realize that. So, I mean, that's all I want to do. <laughs> Nothing much. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the show. It was a little short this time, but Veronica needs a bit more time, so maybe when they get the longer time, we'll do a longer show. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you.